In this part we are going to make the game take shape. We are going to put some floor in. This is done by adding a tiled background. So the surroundings will be pleasant to the eye. So let's double click on the work area. Double click tile background and place it somewhere. Let's open a new image and this looks like a background and close the dialog box save yes okay the tile background is selected let's make the play area a little bigger this is because we want it big enough to make it scroll to do that we click on the layout editor in the work area and this will open the layout properties and we set width 1200 and height 1200 so now it's a little bit bigger you can see the scroll bar here and it has been set for the new configuration so the layout is a whole game area and now we want to configure only a window area the window area acts as a camera in the play area thus giving it a scrolling effect. To configure the window area we select the project tab and then we select the application one and in the properties we set the width and height to 500. Okay let's arrange the floor sprite or the background sprite. We want this in the background so we right click and select order to back and let's drag it to the left top corner maybe easier to set the X and Y coordinates in the properties so we enter 0 and 0 I want the background to cover the whole play area so 1200 and 1200 will do the job when you're done with the background you don't accidentally want to select it. You can prevent it from being selected by locking it. So you select the background, right click and lock selected. Now nothing happens when you click on it. Now we want the window area to be centered on the player. To do this you select the player and select attributes under groups and tick the center view on me. Okay let's run the game and we move around but I think uh, he looks sad he's all alone and he has no monster to shoot